Well, good morning. I laid in bed especially long today as I pondered the video and prayed for people as I normally do in the morning and oftentimes throughout different parts of the day. Anyway, the title, uh, let's just give it to you. Homeless Feeder Arnold Abbott, 90, challenges Mayor Jack Sealer. 90-year-old Arnold Alb Abbott has been feeding the homeless in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for 20 years. What a wonderful man, right? wrong. In Fort Lauderdale, he's considered a criminal, and he faces two $500 fines and four months in prison for his charitable acts of kindness. Mayor Jack Seeler defends the unconstitutional and unlawful city council ordinance. As I see it, that council, mayor, and police chief must be sociopaths for ordering these crimes against humanity. Are they not the real criminals? What about you? What are you? When are you going to take a stand in favor of human rights and against the encroachment of those rights by tyrannical government agencies? As humans, we stand in the valley of decision. What kind of world do we want? If you haven't heard about this yet, I wonder where you've been. I think it's even mainstream media, at least in certain areas, <laughs> it's mainstream media. This has produced an outcry. I understand that there are 33 city cities in the United States, I believe several of them in Florida, including Orlando, that have passed ordinances making it a crime, did you hear me, a crime to feed homeless people. They want homeless people to die, part of the eugenics population control program of the elite, along with many other things that they are doing to make humans die, not least of which is genetically modifying our food, spraying chemtrails in the air that can contain heavy metals and other poisons, including biological contaminants, in other words, viruses that they genetically modify and create in the laboratory. They have been putting poison in our medicine. They have been fracking the land, poisoning the aquifers that contain the drinking water that we need to survive as human beings. When are we going to ever get it through our heads that government is a criminal operation? It is an extortion racket. It wantonly creates crimes against humanity and because people do not stand up to the government and say enough, because people have been brainwashed by religion, especially New Age, New Thought religion based on A Course in Miracles and channeled messages that tell us that it's just an illusion, that if we, that if we stand against something, we're being negative, I mean, even Mother Teresa said, I will not march in an anti-war rally, but I will march in a pro-peace rally. They're the same thing. Come on, give me a break. When are you going to see that this is just poisoning of our minds so that we don't take action and stand up for each other and for human rights in general? and for principles that have been laid out for us in things like the Declaration of Independence, the United States Constitution, and even the Declaration of Human Rights of the United Nations. When are we going to understand that it's our responsibility? That's what the ambassador has been telling us. It's our responsibility to take a stand. Now this one hits home because it's in Florida. It's three hour, close to a three hour drive from where I live. And I hardly ever venture out of my own county, certainly not further than Vero Beach most of the time. Uh, the one time recently that I ventured further is the night that I got arrested when I went all the way to uh, Stewart. In any case, in any case, here's something in my own backyard, and I'd like to see who's willing among my friends to actually participate in some kind of an event that we can create together 
to go to Fort Lauderdale and challenge this mayor, the city council, uh, and the police department there, or the sheriff's department there, challenge them to stop violating human rights and committing crimes against humanity, to try to wake them up. Are you willing to stand with me, you people? You people who are part of my community. I wrote this yesterday. What can we do to activate people in my world that turn their backs on political issues? I almost feel like tagging people here who refuse to get involved in this kind of thing because it because it's negative and only an illusion anyway. Fuck you who think like this and have the nerve to call yourselves spiritual. You're barely awake enough to call yourselves human. And this is part of the brainwashing that the New Age, New Thought, A Course in Miracles community fails to see. They follow people like Muji and they refuse to entangle themselves in political issues of our day that are violating human rights, that are creating a human slave mentality. I mean, who does it serve when people tell you that if you stand against something, you're only creating more of it? Who does that kind of a lie, and it is a lie, who does that serve if not the very people like the mayor, Sealer, who are committing crimes? who are ordering the police to arrest these people, fingerprint them, create all sorts of hassles for them. And they're doing it to a 90-year-old man, two priests, and, and yesterday they were back out arresting more people because the people continue to stand up to the city ordinance and say, we're going to do the human thing. We're going to do the right thing. The law, in this case, which isn't really a law, any, any law that violates human rights is null and void. Did you know that? These legislative bodies, including city councils, have no right to pass laws that violate human rights. Did you know that? Did you know that they are the criminals, that the government is a criminal operation, a syndicate, a mafioso? Did you know that? And did you know that if you keep silent, you are consenting to letting them continue this march toward world tyranny and domination of the human beings, which ultimately will be destruction of the planet that we live on. Or not the planet, but the ability of humans to live and sustain themselves and other life forms to sustain themselves on a planet that is being poisoned step by step, day by day, by people that are psychopaths, by people that are sociopaths, that claim to have authority over the rest of us. When are the rest of us, which is the majority, going to take a stand and stop kowtowing to these people who want to dominate our lives? who want to treat us like we're nothing. There's no human being that's nothing. They are part of us, but they are a part of us that we have rejected. We have nullified. We have invalidated the part of us that, that we call, that Jung called the shadow. And it's the, it's the shadow that creates the Nazi movements. It's the shadow that creates the tyranny because it's the part of ourselves that we're unwilling to face and own and hear its cry. And, we have, and we're brainwashed to believe that if we focus on something that is negative, we're going to get more negative stuff. Don't you freaking realize how much of a lie that is? How much of a hor horrible deception? This is my community I'm talking about that teaches these things. I have even taught some of these things myself because it seemed right, but it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And then I have friends send me videos trying to convince me that they're right and I'm wrong. Come on, I'm human. And I don't reject the negative. I spend a lot of time feeling my anger, feeling my frustration, my outrage, my sadness feeling the things that other people run away from and deny because it's not right. You're supposed to wear a plastic smile and always be happy. You're supposed to only focus on what you want and the positive things, which is nothing more than a separation from the part of yourself that you're judging.
but it's still a part of yourself. But you're saying, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not even part of God because God can't have those things. But God is all that is. That's my definition of God. What's yours? Is God only a partial God that's at war with another God called Satan? I mean, give me a break. Don't you see that that kind of polarization creates the kind of world that we've lived in? It's not standing against something that creates more of it. It's ignoring and avoiding the things that are, that are hurting us, the things that are damaging to us. It's ignoring those things that creates the problem and creates more of what we don't want. It's exactly the opposite from the way we've been told. We've been lied to again and again and again by our religions of separation that teach us that, that this way, your way, if you choose it, your way is the right way and everybody else's is the wrong way. This, this craziness of my God is better than your God or I don't have a God and, and I'm the one that's saying, I mean, give me a freaking great, folks, when are we going to wake up and see the insanity of our world and take action to address the issues that we have been gifted to address? Like this uh, Arnold Abbott, 90-year-old man, humanitarian, man with a wonderful heart, the heart of a servant. That's what we're called to have. Or are we going to allow this man, Jack Sealer, who is the mayor of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, are we going to allow his ilk to continue to run roughshod over people's hearts and over people's lives and over those that actually have compassion that he doesn't have because sociopaths and psychopaths have had the nat the the, the compassion beat out of them they have had a their, their conscience seared and destroyed because of the way that they've been programmed and brainwashed and they've bought into the into the programming so that they probably aren't even aware that they're doing it which is why they need the re-education camps they are the ones that need to have their not their lives taken but they need to face their shadow until they get it they need to face their shadow, but so do you and I need to face our shadow. I've been doing the best I can to do that. I don't always succeed. I've been where you are if you think that you want to just focus on positive things. I've been where you are, but you're not helping any. In fact, the longer you stay entrenched in your crazy idea of non-involvement, and non-action. The longer you stay entrenched in this idea that has been propagated by this New Thought community uh, in error, the longer you stay entrenched in that, the, the more painful the change that's coming. The change is going to come. It's going to be easy or it's going to be painful. That depends on people like you. People who are sitting on the fence waiting for somebody else to do it because you're not willing to put forth any effort of getting involved yourself. Even though you, some of you have time on your hands. But you're not spending your time trying to fix the problems in the world. You're instead turning your back on the problems of the world and turning your back on your friends that are trying to do something. Friends like me. Do you realize how painful it is to step back from some of you? that I love, to, to step back and to call you out on your bullshit? Do you realize how painful that is for me? Well, it is painful. I don't like doing that. I have already feel, felt alone and alienated most of, my, most of my life, more so as I began to take, become awake since 9-11 and, and awake to the reality that our government is a criminal operation. But you don't want to hear that. There's cognitive dissonance. It's too painful for you to realize that the people that are supposed to be our leaders are actually demons in disguise, devils in disguise. They're not looking out for our best interest. They're trying to control and dominate us. When are you going to get it? It's time, like the ambassador says, to look in the mirror, to wake up to take a set, an honest assessment of who you are and what you are, to own yourself, the good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly. Own it. 
And then you can transform it by integration, not by separation. The process of healing and making whole does not separate itself from anything. It does not shirk responsibility. It does not deny accountability. It takes these things head on, embraces them, and transforms from the inside out. That's the new covenant. I'd like to see it happen with some kind of a miracle. Will it happen that way? Probably not. Probably not. I can't speak completely for God. I don't know what God is going to do. But something has to happen to change us on the inside. Or we're going to continue to go down a path that's ultimately going to bring tremendous suffering that we have not seen but some people like in Gaza and Afghanistan and Iraq and Libya and other places that have been attacked by this criminal cabal of Western Europe and the United States and Canada and Australia. Yes, the so-called civilized people of the world that are actually the psychopaths of the world. Wake up, wake up, look in the mirror and decide to stand together with your brothers and sisters that are trying to make a real difference. People like Arnold Abbott, who at 90 years old is still involved in doing the right thing. Thank you for listening. Namaste.